Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I did this look that I'm wearing here. It is a daytime spring look. So in Australia, we're going into spring. It doesn't feel like we're quite there yet, even though it is September. Oh my God, I can't believe it's September. This look is super glowy and super easy to achieve. So if you wanna know how I got this look, then please keep on watching. I'm starting off priming my skin with the Porefessional from Benefit. For foundation, I'm using my new favorite. This is the Ultra HD from Makeup Forever. And my color is 140, which equals Y305. I'm just gonna dot this all over my face. And then I'm gonna use the F60 foundation brush from Sigma to apply it all over the face. And then you know I take a damp beauty blender and blend that all in. And I'm just lightly taking whatever's left over on the beauty blender just above my eyes. Not um, right on the lid, just above. So I'm just taking the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in SX07 and this is going to be my under eye highlight. Um, I'm going to apply this with the Precision Round PA2 Sigma brush. I feel like with this product a little goes a long way. So um, yeah, don't pack it on too heavy because um, yeah, it will crease a little. And also you just want to apply it where you need to don't go overboard and then of course you know how it is blended out with a beauty blender so taking the Tom Ford shade and illuminate palette in intensity one I'm gonna take the highlighter side and just apply that to the areas of the face that I want to highlight and then again I'm blending out with the beauty blender And I'm just going to set the highlighted areas in place with the Star Powder from Gerard Cosmetics in Audrey. I'm just going to use a Duo Fiber Powder Blush um, F15. I really love these powders. They just look so beautiful on the skin. And this is just to set it into place for now, but I will be applying some later to make it more intense. So then I'm just going back into the Tom Ford palette and I'm taking a um, MAC angled contour brush. I never know the number of this brush, but it's um, a MAC angled contour. And I'm just going to take the darker shade this time and contour my face. And then as you know, if we apply cream, I like to apply a powder on top. So I'm applying the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder just to the hollows of my cheeks. I'm using a small contour FO5 brush. Thank you. 
As usual, I'm applying my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Medium Brown and then the Zoeva Brush 322 Brow Line to apply it. So I'm just taking a little bit of the translucent Laura Mercier powder with my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to apply that to under the eye area. I'm also just going to apply a little bit on the tip of my nose. I'm going back into my Tom Ford palette and taking the darker shade as my eyeshadow base. I'm using the same concealer F75 brush to do this. And then taking that Kevin O'Conn powder, this is going to go in the crease and it's going to be really blended out. I'm just going to do that with the same Morphe brush. And then just while I'm there, I'm going to contour my nose with the same um, Kevin Aquan powder. Um, except I'm going to use a tapered blending brush, an E35 from Sigma. And then for the lid, I want a little bit of shimmer. So I'm going to use the Tom Ford um, Skin Illuminating Powder Duo, the darker color. And just applying it with the eye shading E55 brush. And then again with the Kevin Aquan powder and a blending E25 brush, I'm just going to blend that out on the lower lash line. I'm going to line my waterline with a white eyeliner and this is Fascinating from MAC. I'm just going to bronze up the face with Paula's Choice Sun Kissed Custom Color Bronzer. This is a matte bronzer and I'm using this side. I'm using a powder blush F10 from Sigma. I'm just using Becca's Moonstone to highlight the tip of my nose and the inner corner of the eye. And to do this, I'm using a Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil. So I'm just going to go in with the S Curler from Shuamura and curl my top lashes. And then I'm just taking the um, Eye Booster Mascara from Physicians Formula. I really love this mascara. And for my lips, I'm going to line them with Spice from MAC. I'm not necessarily going to leave my lips that colour. Um, I just love a liner on my lips before I put on um, a liquid lipstick or anything like that. Just because it smooths out all the lines and it helps it stay longer. So I'm going to go over that with Serenity from Gerard Cosmetics and this is the colour that Manny um, MUA made with um, Gerard and it is such a gorgeous colour. 